eight C programmers want to know, who has the biggest broccoli? In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the answer at high speed using one of the most obscure x86 instructions in the book. The broccoli problem is a simplification of a similar problem that came up in an AI I'm writing that plays the board game Pandemic. My AI wants to know which player is the closest to having collected five cards of the same color and it makes that calculation millions of times per game as part of its Monte Carlo simulations. The function to do it was using over 20% of my CPU. How would you find the maximum? The straightforward thing to do is just loop over the numbers and remember which one was the biggest, which is basically what my AI code looked like. On my CPU, I can execute this function about 500 million times per second. And here's what Clang compiles it into. Look at all that smarty pants branch list vectorized code. Can we do better? After reading almost 800 pages of Intel documentation, I found an instruction that Clang apparently doesn't know about. PHMINPOSUW. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. PHMINPOSUW. PHMINPOSUW. It's an x86 instruction for finding the minimum value of a vector of integers. That's packed horizontal word minimum. But wait, we didn't use all the letters. What about the POSU? So the U is for unsigned because it works on unsigned words. And the POS must be for position because the instruction also determines the position of the minimum value in the array. That's a bit of a word jumble, so I can see why they just went with the plain old packed horizontal word minimum. Intel introduced this instruction many years ago as part of the SSE4 extension. It's a specialized instruction used by video encoding algorithms. Like it's really specialized. I'm guessing Intel was probably trying to make gains on a specific benchmark. It's the only x86 instruction that can compare several values to each other all at once. Although Intel has a bunch of instructions for comparing vectors, they all do pairwise comparisons, producing a third vector. This is known as a vertical operation, whereas PHMINPOSUW works horizontally to compare numbers within the same vector. Here's how it works. There's a source register and a destination register. These are both 128-bit XMM registers that can hold a vector of eight 16-bit integers. So you put your eight numbers in the source and PHMINPOSUW will put the minimum value in the low 16 bits of the destination register. In the next 16 bits, it puts the index where the minimum value was found and the rest of the bits are zeroed. Remember how I said this was a specialized instruction? It's not like the other instructions that have variants. There's no version that accepts signed operands, for example and there's no version to compare bytes, D words, or quad words. It has to be shorts. And there's no version for working on floating point numbers. Also, it has to be eight numbers. There's no version to take advantage of the larger registers to compare 16 values or more. You're probably wondering by now, is there a PH max pos UW? No. So how are we gonna find the biggest broccoli? Well, to get a maximum, you're going to need to spell the mnemonic backwards to get the what's up nymph instruction. Supposedly, that's coming in a future AVX extension. Until then, the best way to get a maximum is going to be by subtracting all your numbers from a large number. Here's what it looks like in my C code. I start out by building an array with each number subtracted from the largest possible unsigned short value. I load that array into an XMM register, and I call phmenposuw. I then extract the first 16 bits from the result register, and that contains the minimum value, but that's not the answer. I have to subtract that value from the largest possible unsigned short. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm not coding this in assembly. I'm using compiler intrinsics. Just to be confusing, they have different names than the actual instructions, so you have to look them up in the documentation. I use objdump to confirm that the compiler is emitting the instructions that I expected. So was it faster? Yes. I get almost 700 million executions per second on my CPU. That's almost 40% faster than the unoptimized code. Very cool. And what about my AI? So as I mentioned earlier, that suit assessment function was eating about 22% of my CPU time. 
It turned out I was actually calling that function about twice as often as I really needed to. I was recalculating the suits after performing actions that didn't affect the hands, and that was a big waste of time. So fixing that actually saved about 12% of my CPU time, and assessing suits got down to 10%. Optimizing the suit assessment function to use phminposuw was a big speed up for that function, but in the big picture, it only improved performance by about 5%. So the lesson learned is, look for the low-hanging fruit, but it's also fun to optimize the next few percent anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.